welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while. I've been on a hiatus and I haven't really been uploading any favourites. So this is the first favourite video of the month with baby Noah as a special guest. Actually, I, I wasn't planning to film with him in this video but he wouldn't let anyone else carry him except me so, so here he is. Alright Noah, so what do we have for the first favourite item this month? It is Little Nonia's Pineapple Tarts. Holy moly, I have been eating these pineapple tarts every single day. Um, since getting them, we were actually at Novena Square shopping for Chinese New Year goodies and of course James was like walking around surveying all the different vendors and stalls and when we got to Little Nonia, he went a little overboard. He bought every single thing he tried. Obviously I was not too happy about that because the more food and goodies you put in front of me, the more I eat. Right Noah? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> These pineapple tarts have been the best pineapple tarts I've eaten in a long while and I got really really addicted to them so I think they definitely make it on my favourite list and I, I think I'm gonna get more maybe next year. So my second, third and fourth item, I think my next three items are beauty favourites. These are things that I have personally enjoyed very much over the course of the last few months actually but I decided to put them in my January favourites because I thought it's finally good time to share them with you. The first one is the Leonica K treatments that I've been going. I actually suffered from postpartum hair loss. It was quite scary because after washing my hair and like every single morning when I wake up there would be clumps and clumps of hair on the bed. It was quite gross and even James thought I was balding. I decided to seek help and Leonica came along. Honestly, that has been the best thing that has happened to me and to my hair. Just after four treatments, I've noticed a very very big difference in my hairline. I don't know if you can even see from this video, but this area here used to be like balding. But right now, it's growing and there are like little sprouts of hair coming out. I myself am very surprised by the results. In just four treatments, or actually just three, I've noticed a very big difference in my hair fall amount. And this is measured after every single hair wash. I would really highly recommend anybody, any woman at all that is suffering from hair loss of any kind, whether postnatal or stress related or whatever, to seek help because hair loss for women, I feel, in my personal opinion, is a lot more salvageable than than men because it's not really hormonal. Most of the time it is induced or caused by something external like postpartum hair loss is caused by hormonal changes but it's like a one-off thing so it's more salvageable so seek help! Seek help! Help will, will find you. So the third item on my January favourites is this beauty product. Whoa. It is the Tea Tree Purifying Mask from Bonabella. I've actually started on a range of Bonabella products but this has been one of my top favourites amongst all that I've been using. This is a purifying mask that is a wash off mask. It looks like some algae-ish gel-like kind of texture but it really does feel great on the skin. It's, it gives off a very nice cooling sensation. What I do most of the time is I use this before going into the shower. So I leave it on for 20 minutes and by the, by the end of 20 minutes, I wash it off all at once when I'm bathing. So it's quite convenient. What I particularly like about this is that the sensation it gives um, lasts even after washing off the mask. Meaning to say that post mask, you still feel the cooling sensation and it's still very very hydrating. This is the sponge. It's some special sponge I think. It's very soft but yet there is a very nice texture to it. So it really helps to clean your skin and remove all the dead skin cells and dirt and whatever. I really recommend using a purifying mask like this at least twice to thrice a week. This not only helps to keep your skin clean, free of dirt, oil and all the debris that you bring home from outside, but it also helps with the absorption of all the other skincare products that you put on your face after. So yes, I highly recommend this mask. And moving on to my next beauty favourite, it is also another Korean product. I think I'm pretty big on Korean products, but especially this range because they are cruelty free 
and organic. So this is really really important ever since having Noah and I've been taking note of what I've been using. They are 100% transparent with what they put in their ingredients um, in the making of this lipstick. Clean Beauty is really big right now but it's especially important when you use lipstick every single day because women actually consume a lot a lot of lipstick. Like how many of you actually remove your lipstick before drinking or eating? But especially with Noah around, I love to kiss him, cuddle him, and sometimes my lipstick gets on him. I would prefer to opt for products that are entirely safe for babies like Noah. The founder of Ulip actually created this brand with her daughters in mind. So I think she made these lipsticks for her little girls, something that are safe for them to wear. So the brand story is really beautiful. These Ulip lipsticks um, are made with essential oils as well so they are great for my kind of lips which are really dry and chapped they feel extremely hydrating the pigmentation of the colour is great I, I love this shade actually this is what? Superstar? Oh! I think he's done with me Okay so now I'm done with my three beauty favourites my next favourite in my January favourites, so many favourites, favourite, favourites, is this Aquazimo 100% Natural Cleansing Water. It is made especially for infants, so it is perfect. It's perfect for a time like now. It is alcohol-free, antibacterial, dermatologically and clinically tested, and it is ideal for sensitive skin and even safe when swallowed. This is perfect because not all cleansing water sprays are, are safe to consume. This makes it possible for, for it to be sprayed on things that he puts in his mouth directly, including his milk bottle teats, his milk bottle, his toys, his chew toys, um, and all the surfaces that he touches from his furniture to his car seat to his stroller and basically everything and anything. I'm actually quite a germaphobe so this is quite the perfect thing to get me any time of the year. I actually got this in all the different sizes. This is actually the refill um, but it also comes with the, the spray cap. But the refill is great because I also have it in the smaller one which I keep in my diaper bag. Especially useful when I go out because sometimes he drops his hands all over the place and it's not possible for me to sanitize it anywhere and everywhere. So this is the next best alternative. The next item on my January favourites is another baby product. I know ever since getting Baby Noah, my favourites are gonna be kinda skewed towards products that um, are not just beauty related or fashion related, but also motherhood related. So for all you fellow mummies out there, I will be sharing my personal favourites um, as and when I, I find them or as and when they come along my way. So the Love Amy Love Cook Pro is the device that I use to prepare Noah's food. I only recently got it, I think slightly after he turned 6 months old because I wanted something that could be all-in-one machine where I can prepare his food and that is a 7-in-1 machine. I wish I had gotten it earlier because it also serves as a bottle warmer for his milk. So this would be perfect and it would give you the mileage uh, if you are looking for something to get for your newborn. It can last from newborn all the way up to a toddler. It is used to steam his vegetables, his meat and Dada is actually playing with him behind the scenes, so I'm a little bit distracted. <laughs> Why I particularly love the Love Amy Love Cook Pro is that it helps to preserve nutrients with its temperature controlled water bath. It also cooks really evenly unlike other steamers. The steaming chamber flows the steam 360 degrees around the food so it cooks faster and a lot more evenly. Sometimes, you know, I need to multitask as a mom, so I have no one in one hand and the other hand can be used to operate the machine. All in all, I love the machine. It isn't too bulky, it is very easy to use um, and has made my life a lot better. Moving on to another favourite this month is a particular kind of style that I've been loving. No particular piece, but the Love Bonito pieces with the huge balloon puppy sleeves is something that is totally up my alley because I really really love how it accentuates the waist and how it gives more volume to the shoulders. So in terms of proportions, you know it makes me feel and look like a princess. And I, I have been totally digging that style this Chinese New Year, especially with all the goodies that I've been eating. I love that Love Bonito offers styles like that, not only in the conventional like v-neck 
cut but also in togas and other varieties so it makes it a lot more interesting. So when I style tops and stuff like such, I like to pair it with a variety of bottoms. I like things that are a lot heavier on the bottom like big flare skirts or even things that are more streamlined um, like a fitted trousers, a fitted pair of trousers or even a pencil skirt. This look is really versatile so you know you can do like a lot with a lot or a lot with something minimal and I think it's up to you how you want to style it and how you want to play with it. And now I'm down to my last January favourite and that is this watch that I'm wearing right here. This is the Huawei GT2 watch. It is actually the first smartwatch that I own because I never believed in owning a smartwatch before getting this. I always thought that you know smartwatches are not very stylish and they are just meant for people that are very sporty and love to exercise and I wouldn't get much like mileage out of a smartwatch because I don't exercise that much and it wouldn't be something that I would wear day to night but I was wrong! Ever since getting this GT2, I have been wearing it pretty much day and night. The straps are interchangeable. This is the more sporty look, it's just a black strap. But there is also um, a rose gold interchangeable strap that I use when I style my outfits. That has become like my go-to look for my watch accessory now. I love that the watch actually helps to track various aspects of my life. Like for example, my sleep, the number of steps I take. And going into 2020, I kind of made it a point to live better and to live health more healthily. And this has been a great motivator for me to do that. With the number of steps that um, this tracks and the heart rate as well, I'm always very motivated to like take the stairs instead of take the lift, to walk that extra mile and you know not take the shortcut just so I can clock my steps. And the sleep tracker in particular is something really really helpful and useful for someone like me who doesn't get enough sleep on a daily basis. It really encourages me to clock in my 8 hours every single night because on days where I get like 7 hours and 45 minutes, I will just snooze for that extra 15 minutes. I know it's not like the best thing but I guess it's something better that I have this than not. So I really really enjoy using this and having this linked to my phone as well. All in all, this watch has been a great accessory um, in more ways than one. Not just for fashion but for utility sake. And I really love that it has been journeying with me um, through the past month. So far. So I've come to the end of my January favourites. Um, I hope you really enjoyed all the items that I shared so far and stay tuned till the next one in February. Bye bye! <laughs> Baby Noah, Mama is sharing about my hair treatment at Leonica. I can't believe I'm saying all this with this baby in my hand. But it also helps with the absorption of... Oh dear, Noah. Hey. <sighs> He's getting cranky. Do you, want, do you want to be in here or out of here, Noah? Okay, so what, superstar? Oh. I think he's done with it. Noah, you're very destructive. You got a lot of sound effects.